Hello and welcome back to It's Pouring Paint. I am going to do something I saw Mixed Media Girl do uh, the other day and I loved it. I wish I'd thought of it sooner. But uh, I am going to do some mini pours on a couple of my light, or, um, yeah, light switches here. And I think this is a fabulous way to pop out your walls. As everyone knows, you have... Um, you have pictures and everything on the walls and that's great because pictures are there but nobody really really takes too much of a good look at pictures because they're where they're supposed to be there's nothing um nothing unusual about it but unless it pops out then then they might glance at it but light switches i think that because they're in the middle of the wall because they're not really expected um to be anything but like a white and then all of a sudden there's a pop of color there. I actually think that that might uh, be something that would really, really stand out. And I am looking forward to doing this because, as I said, I thought hers were just beautiful. So the first one I'm going to do here is a mix of magenta and um, yellow and a uh, copper. And I'm doing these colors because these particular lights, and I'm going to do two, this one and that one, are um, right by my hibiscus tree. And my hibiscus tree, when it blooms, blooms in pinks and yellows. It's a quad tree, so it has many different colors in it. And I did a vase a while ago that I thought was pretty cool. Um, and that's what I do. I have that right between them and I water my plants with this vase. <laughs> ah, I love it though. It's so pretty, the vase. Um, and it, it just doles out the right perfect amount. So you don't have to do too, too, too much, I don't think, of this. Because, look, at this, it's a very small work area. So I'm just going to finish off with one more little thing. And I actually think this is too much in itself because I'm only going to do the two if I was doing one then this would absolutely be too much so I've, I'm doing it in a tree ring pour because I want more definition to be seen when I um so that's what it looks like <laughs> so cute when I want more definition when I would uh, put it on here so you can see lines and stuff well this is the first time I've done it. As you know, I'm a beginner and I'm I'm trying everything it seems at once and I'm loving it and I'm loving like showing you if you're watching. Um so here we go. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Well, oh. oh, the paint's pretty thick. Yeah, that paint's pretty thick. I was using paint uh that I've used prior but it was it was uh, a couple weeks ago so this is interesting so I'm hoping that this will do and look at this and I was telling you I had too much paint and it can't, turns out that I have only enough paint for this one and I'm going to say that I believe it's because it is as thick as it is it's very very thick paint All right, so let's just squeeze every last little bit out. That is it, it is done. Wow. Okay, so I'm, I'll probably end up reworking this because as you can see, I've kind of failed here a little. I don't have, uh, I don't have enough paint. And I was gonna do a second one with this paint. <laughs> Now before, I did see, um, and I'm just going to touch a little bit so maybe it'll go off a little bit quicker and easier off the sides and stuff, but um, yeah, I'm liking the colors. I'm thinking that they're muddying up just a bit. I was going to tape it off too, but what ended up happening was um, I thought, well, if I tape it up, it's going to pool underneath the tape, and if it pools underneath the tape then um, when I pull it off, there's going to be a, a, a puddle of it. That's what I'm thinking. So I said to myself, well, maybe I don't want necessarily a puddle on because then it, 
it might I don't know if it would be dry too much drier then I don't know peeps I'm looking at this and I know I had an idea a beautiful idea from mixed media all right I'm just gonna just tilt it just a little bit more to try and get some of this stuff to come down here so this is a lot more difficult than it looks because it's a little weird uh, and I have to I have to um, maneuver it I might even wipe this one clean do one with more paint I don't know I'm just going to see what it looks like when it finishes up but that looks like it would be my first one and, and it does look a little muddy to me in places which I don't like however it still has the um, still has the popping colors and so forth so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of a, one of my paintbrushes here and oh no it's not gonna let me too big too big so I'm gonna try and find something that I can poke through there I don't know if I will but we will see so that's my first one I'm going to pause here because I'm going to rethink think my strategy uh, rethink whether or not this is what I want to I want to do or do I want to go and try again um, differently so I will be right back and with a better bigger bolder idea okay I'm back so to be quite honest with you um, my bigger better bolder idea is to add more paint <laughs> I know right Ooh, uh, yeah. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to add some, some more paint to these two. Uh, and unfortunately, the other one that I've done here, and you can kind of see it here that uh, you just saw, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put it in my front hallway. I know I meant to do it uh, by my hibiscus tree. But the truth of the matter is, is I couldn't get enough paint um, to do two. So now I am doing two with these colors instead. It will look nice as well. Now let's just get rid of this paint. Oh, Kelly girl. That's my pups. I think she's bored. What she doesn't know um, is that her father's on her way home. <laughs> and when he gets home, we will be taking her to the PARK. And I'm sure all you dog owners out there who have a dog know why I have to spell certain things because my little poopers here understands what that means and she will flip out when before it's ready okay so i'm just going to continue to do this i don't know for how much more paint i have uh, but i have some oh <laughs> i'm dropping it everywhere there is going to be predominantly teal in this i see and it's just because i have more teal then I do the other colors <laughs> and I love this teal so it's all good all right so oh uh, yeah so there we have it this is the new one I think it's really pretty I'm going to do it a little differently is that I'm going to put a little thing on here and now I'm going to go ahead and pour <laughs> okay I'm doing it this way because I'm trying to make sure that I have enough paint for both oh I can see a little bit of purple coming through now <sighs> that looks pretty nice once again, I am unsure if I have enough paint 
for two this time. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be quite honest with you. Neither of these look like mixed medias. She did a really fantastic job on hers. And her husband. I believe her husband did one as well. They were really nice. I'm not sure if I can compete with that. But I am kind of liking this. It's looking a little interesting. Sorry, I'm trying to drip off some of the paint. So what I did with the other, um, the other light switch that I had that you saw, and I was wondering how I was going to get the holes um, covered. So I found a very easy way. You blow it. You just blow it out. Seems to work. I'll show you. <laughs> and there. Voila. Uh, they've come back. I, I'm assuming you just keep doing it until, uh, until it doesn't come back. And then you're going to put a screw through it too, don't forget. So I wouldn't be too, 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 too concerned. Oh, do love this teal. All right, now I'm going to try spread this little guy about. I wonder if I hold it like this. Oh, there I go. Maybe that's... What? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I meant to flip it very quickly like that. Yeah. Oh yeah so that's not helping as much now i'm just getting all kinds of dirty and let's just do what we need to do here to put it down oh. i'm muddying some of it up i can just tell oh well okay so those are the two I have uh, done for now where my hibiscus tree is. These are the main lights. And I just want to make a little bit of more swirly motion in here. This is why I'm trying to get some, some more paint in here. So it has a little bit more definition. Or something like that anyways. That's what I'm telling myself. Okay. So I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. Let me just wipe my hands. Wow. Yep. Okay. I might use a straw, actually. Probably reach better. Um... Okay, so that is not supposed to happen. Okay. All right, there they are, guys. All right, my hands are dry enough. Bring you in a little bit. So this is my first one. Yeah, do you see that? I just noticed that myself too. It didn't quite. Okay, and then here is the one that goes right beside it. So there you have it. And this is the one from before. I still kind of like it. It's bright and colorful. It's playful. It'll be it'll do. I have a lot of these in my house, so I don't want to sit there and qualm too, too much. As long as there's some color and stuff like that, uh, then I will do them up. We can always clean them later and do something else up. Thank you for joining me. I hope 
I hope you had a fun time with me seeing what new and wonderful things we can do with acrylic paint. All right, guys. If you want, please like this video, subscribe, put the bell on. Come join me and my daughter in adventures just like this. Talk to you later. Bye.